Hi everyone, let's begin. One more new problem statement has been given by one medical student. Uh, basically, this question is total 162 persons above the age of 40 years were examined at an ophthalmic OPD for corneal degeneration. Corneal degeneration was observed in 48. Out of 110 persons, those were less than 60 years age group. But 30 out of 52 persons, those were greater than 60 years old, determine if there is any association between age group and corneal degeneration. So we are going to use the table tabulated value, chi square 3.84. These are the table value already given. So how we have to solve this problem, that's the most important. First of all, we have to claim null hypothesis. Null hypothesis, that is always neutral. It's always negative. No association between age group and corneal degeneration. Alternate hypothesis, yes, there is significant association between age group and corneal degeneration. So through these tests, we have to find out which hypothesis will be rejected and will will, uh, which particular hypothesis would be accepted. So let's take into consideration age. Here is less than, that is age is greater than 60. So let me take into less than 60 and greater than 60. So less than 60, let me take 40 out, 48. Less than 60, corneal degeneration, 48 people, not affected, 62. And total number of people out of this 162 total population, 110. Those were less than 60 years old. But 52 people, those were greater than 60 years old. Out of these 162 people, 30 were having this problem, corneal degeneration. But 22 are not affected by corneal degeneration problem. So total, we have to get corneal degeneration, 78 people out of 162 and 84, those were not affected. So let me check whether age is associated with this corneal degeneration or not. So first of all, what we have to do, let us take the hypothesis that there is no association between age and corneal degeneration. That means they are independent. So first of all, we have to calculate expected frequency. How we are going to calculate expected frequency? A into B divided by N. A means we are talking about this is the total of less than 60 years, 60 years age group. Total number of the population and those are the corne cornea is degenerated. Right. So what we have to do? 110 multiplied by 78. You can see here multiplied by 78 divided by total number of population. So 110 multiplied by 78 divided by 162. So now number is 52.96. In the similar manner, we have to calculate all the expected frequency. So you can see 52.96 not affected means what we have to take into consideration. Here is we will take 110 multiplied by 84 and divided by 162. So this number we will get, this is the number 57.04. How we will get 25.04? Let me take. Here is 52 are total, total, total population. Those are the greater than 60 and 78 are affected. So 52 multiplied by 78 divided by 162. So we will get this number 25.04. In the similar manner, we are going to calculate 22. This one is 52 multiplied by 84 divided by 162. Then we will get this number 26.96. So I'm sure expected frequency you had calculated. After that, we have to create this particular table. Where is O stands for observed frequency, E stands for expected frequency, O minus E, observed minus expected, then we will get this difference. And after that, what we have to do, O minus E whole square. And O minus E whole square divided by E means divided by this expected frequency. This is the formula of chi square. So here is observed frequency we have taken into consideration. You can see here 48, 30, 62, 22. Right? In both the cases, we can see 
48, 30, 62, and 22. Same way, expected frequency 52.96, 25.04, 57.04, 26.96. We had calculated with the help of this formula. After that, what we are doing, O minus E whole square, right? Minus 4.96 multiplied by 4.96. So that is the value. So these, these are the values. After that, what we have to do, it would be divided by expected frequency. So 24.602 divided by 52.96, 24.60 to divided by 25.04, 24.60 divided by 57, and so on. So these are my values. And after the summation of all these values, this is the total number 2.78. 0.46 plus 0.98 plus 0.43 plus 0.91 and 2.78 is my total. Chi square, this one is the calculated value. So how we have to interpret these results? Chi square test value is 2.78. Degree of freedom, rho, R stands for rho, C stands for column. Rho minus 1, column minus 1. So I have in my this problem statement, two columns and two rows. So two minus one, two minus one multiplied by one multiplied by one, one. For degree of freedom one, chi-square test is zero at 0 0.05, 3.84. You can get this value through chi-square table. The calculated value of chi-square test is lower than table value. We can see here, this is our table, this is our calculated value and 3.84 is our table value. So calculated value is lower than table value, hence the result of the case support the hypothesis. That means a null hypothesis, we have failed to reject null hypothesis. So age is not associated with corneal degeneration in this particular case. So in that way, we are going to solve this problem, such kind of problems. And I hope this Problem statement would be clear to uh, those are the MBBS students. Those have got these kind of problem statements. They have got the clear cut answer how we have to solve such kind of problems. So I'm sure uh, these kind of problems you could be able to solve. So stay tuned. Keep watching. Thank you.